All right, jumping into another tournament for intensive training received. We've we've not been lucky, but maybe this is the time. Jumping in, we are seated. Gorys vs. Goers, Sykes vs. Beasts. Gonna see what we can do here. Alright, 3-1 for the kill could beast. Kind of an expected result. And then I mean for this one, of course, we just we just expect the Gorys to take it. No big deal. And there it is, 2-0 for them. Good for them. I don't know, honestly, intensive training receive is not that big of a deal, but it's been so challenging to get a win. Like, I'll take any prize I can possibly get. Like, I'm at that point. We've been doing training after every single defeat, but I, I don't know if it's enough or not. I mean, it feels like we're getting close. Once we hit the max stat for most players, that's when we gotta maybe consider manipulation, but I think we've got a little bit of room to grow. I don't think it's a ton, but I think we can still improve a little bit, but... Fangs 2 on the beast. We're going to overhead max pressure. Believe in ourselves. Heart of the cards. All that stuff. One zero. All right. This is a great start. If we can get the two zero, I mean, that, that'd just be massive. Oh, there it is. That is so good. There it is. We claim the victory, and we are gonna see if we can take on the Fangs. We the Fangs is such a common matchup, but it, it really is a matchup, in my opinion, where they are favored, right? Where it's you, you kind of have that match, and you're like, all right, it's probably gonna be the Fangs, could be the uh, Sky Level Three, but probably the Fangs. We're gonna see what we can do here. We're gonna visual max pressure. First thing I'm gonna do, though, of course, I'm gonna reduce all that fatigue. We do not want to go into this match fatigue. We're already gonna, we're already gonna have to contend with that uh, in the in the possibility of getting injured. Like we don't want to have to add on like fatigue from a previous match. In addition to all that, and then we're going pretty normal. Where if we win this, we're good. We get the training. If we lose this, we will well train. Got July challenging, stealing the ball. That's all very good. July with a corkscrew shot. With only 16 shoot, I don't have a lot of faith, but Zamzi is a bad goalie. Not bad enough to miss that block, though. We'll pass back to our guy. Newbie with the ball. Could see pressure from Zev. It's so funny because Zev just, like, blends in, right? I mean, they really duplicated models for the Ronzo Fangs to a, a very extreme degree. So Zeb just looks like the Seeker R guy through and through. I mean, I guess you could argue maybe Zeb was like a free agent or, or like a bench player for the Ronzo Fangs at a certain point. How would that even work? Like, if he was a bench player, like, what would every team have? Like, would it be... Let's do the math here. So, Besaid Orox, uh, their bench player, of course, would be uh, Tidus or Waka. Because that's what they went with, you know, went, went to in the tournament. Um, Kilka Beast, their bench player could be Tats. Um, or Mep, maybe. And then... Um, I don't know, Guado Glory's bench player is Yuma Guado. 
You know what I mean? Like, you could kind of argue that these players are just not signed at the moment. And, and I think, okay, so here's my thought process. I don't know. I'm, I'm just making up things at this point. But being a Blitzball player, I don't think it's like a... It's not like a full-time... It's not like sports in, in our world, like where you're at the top echelon, right? Where it's like, that is your career. Um, I think Blitzball is just something some people do as like a job, but like not like a career. So a lot of these players like Yuma and stuff might just be, you know, focusing on other tasks they have to do in Guada Salam. Kind of an interesting thing to think about. Albert Sykes, I, I would like to think that they're uh, their bench players either Naida or Lina. But I'm not sure not sure which one. Any any teams I'm missing? Goers maybe? Goers, I don't know who their bench player would be. Maybe shoe. I don't know. Shammy. It's it's so weird to think about bench players for like the goers. Because they're so confident and I mean well bordering on arrogant in their in their acts, you know what I mean? Like it's one of those things where any of their players being benched I feel like would be an issue. Like there's ego to go with them. Got Shammy with the ball here. Pass to McFurry. Man, injuring Neff was kind of a problem. That is uh, not what we wanted to see. Yeah, this doesn't feel... Maybe it's just me, but I feel like we're... We're trying for a shot in the dark to win this. Like, the, the ball control is not in our favor. And we haven't had any good threats on their goal. July going for an attempted shot was was sad. It was just sad. It was not good. So we need like Shammy point blank corkscrew. And then I'll start respecting our attempts. I'm gonna see a pass to Seek here. Yuma does intercept, that's good, pass to McCurry. Got about 40 seconds left before OT. With the time on the clock, it definitely feels like a uh, one zero either way. Pass to Shammy. Come on, McFurry. Don't take a hit. Or, you know, just take a hit. Surely that'll go fine. Surely this is going so well for you. July and McFurry, but Darga cannot be touched. Pass to uh, Gaz Naranto. It looked like that pass was directed to Gaz Naranto, but I gotta, I gotta look again. I gotta be like, is that Zeb? <laughs> is, that, is that my player? I don't know. Alright, this, this feels bad. I mean... Losing in this manner is not the worst, but this is just, it's just, it's tough. I really thought we had it, but we're just not doing anything that makes sense. I think Nefe's uh, injury has hurt us. We were on the left side, I want to say, formation or play style, but I can't, I can't time out, right? Like, there's no timeout option unless a goal happens, which, you know, is kind of the whole point. You know, if a goal happens, then it doesn't matter what formation I'm in because it's OT. There it is. Glory's 3-1 the beast. We get second place. We get so close, but we were just not, not there. That is so disappointing. It's all good. All right, well, let's jump through. Let's do some training because we definitely need to, need to do training. They're all on hot springs. I don't know. My, my brain's not functioning today, apparently. Alright, cool. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to do two counselings for each player and then scrimmages until they are injured. That is the name of the game.
immediately Yuma's out. <laughs> That's tough. You see, you don't see as many stats going up, but it's not completely devoid of improvement. Like, it's decent. You can even do the energy go real fast. It's faster than the controller. Ooh, pain's down. Is that everyone? Ooh, not Mafuri. Mafuri, I think, might be done, though. Because the last time we were leveling her up, she uh, she was just getting catch. So it was, uh, it was pretty sad. Yeah, I think Mafuri at this point is maxed out, then. Huh. Alright, well, that is going to finish the leveling up for now. I think we're going to try again in another tournament uh, next video, next game. Um, next tournament and then what we're gonna do is uh, what we'll, we'll also improve teamwork I think next time I think it makes sense but either way thank you all so much for watching hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time